Thank you for your time. 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 Okay, uh, first thing uh, you got to see on your agenda is approval of November 13, November 18. <coughs> Court meetings, motion to approve. Second. All in favor. Um, one thing I want to do first, uh, contract for uh, Libby's got to go. Libby, if uh, you have something for me to sign, Kenneth has looked over. I looked over, yes. Uh, this is a fire department grant uh, for turnout gear. <coughs> I think it's for all the fire departments or maybe... 30000 maybe. Yes. Uh, motion to approve the contract. Motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Yes. Yes. If you'll come around, I'll sign okay. here from Ohio Valley Physicians. Step forward, sir. How are you well, doing? I'm doing great, thank you. Good. What's well, your name? I'm Paul Kouser. I'm their Vice President of Clinical Services. Can you explain the court what would you like? Uh, we uh, currently are the uh, providers that staff the After Hours Clinic uh, in Inez, and we would like to extend those hours um, to from the 5 to 10 to 9 o'clock in the morning uh, all the way through 10 o'clock. We'd like to offer some immediate care services out there that will be provided by a nurse practitioner as well as some addiction medicine treatment and counseling. What's the addiction medicine? It is part of the program. It is a medicated assisted you know, treatment which does involve suboxone. Involves what? Suboxone or buprenorphine. It's a medication that uh, is synthetic opiate, isn't it? It's not really a synthetic opiate. It is used for pain medicine as well, but it's used for addiction to sort of set aside the cravings that addicts usually have to go along with that. It's a nationally recognized program. So it's a drug, basically an opiate drug treatment. It, it's used in the, it's a tapering dose. The medication is used to sort of help combat the symptoms of withdrawal. It's meant to uh, go along with counseling and therapy as patients begin to get off of opioid addiction. It replaces methadone. It, 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 one, it, is, it, it is a replacement for methadone therapy. You know, it's quite different than methadone uh, therapy. So let me kind of explain. Uh, Highlands has links. And they contract, I guess, for Highlands. Let, the, yeah, you, I know you guys contract with Highlands and you staff it. But the court's lease never would allow daytime hours. You know, the lease would have to be changed. Uh, this court would have to agree to change those. That's correct. Um, you know, I don't know. I think one of the main reasons, Judge, is we, we run the hours that we have is because of the local doctors. I think you're right. Involved, you know, we didn't want to uh, duplicate the service that we already provide here locally with our, you know, local doctors. Um, so I think that was the reason. Of course, we won the after hours clinic because they that was they don't they don't operate after four or five o'clock. So you know, if 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 we do that, then we're basically duplicating the service that they already provide. So we thought. Well, eight years, Daryl, and you to get that in here with the Kathy Rubio and all them people. Right. We fall off so the court. So you're asking the court to change Highland's lease to to allow daytime hours. That's correct. Right. Okay. Yes, sir. One of the reasons we how how they got the grants 
for, for it to be in the Hatch or Rock Well, no, the grants. No, the, the, the lease was to have an after air spring. That was the purpose. He's asking you to change that. Well, I'm not, have to. in my opinion, I'm not for changing it because we gave it to Highlands Legion. They thought it took us eight years to get that in here, and it's doing a good job. And in my opinion, I say we keep it the way it is. You have a motion. You have a second. I have a motion. Got a second. Got a vote. All in favor? Yes. Anything else you like, sir? Thank you. Thank you. Fire department contract, can you assist with you? I have that. That was the contract. I signed that, did I? Yes, I want the court to ratify it. You remember this is where we're giving the health department, I mean the fire department money going to sell the health department with the terms in it. It's been signed by this court. A motion to allow the judge, uh, he's already signed it, he should have signed it, but to ratify the kiss signature and have it reported. Good motion. Okay, I'll say that again. Make sorry. Sorry. Good you motion, got a second. I was to say I had no, a question. No, no, sorry. 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 Hey, this is the contract where we had the help, uh, help department money went to the fire department to build the building. Right. On their deed, there was a reversion to the original owner. That means if it ceases to be a fire department, then the property goes to the owner. I wanted something to protect the county so the health department money, when we give it to the fire department, they have to serve the county at least 18 years or pay us back $25,000 each year they don't so we can have something. So that, is that for the building itself though that will basically depreciate the building <coughs> back to the county? No, we're giving them a credit of $25,000 a year each year. They provide services for the people of this county. We're not going to get any building back. I said reverts back to the honor if it ever ceases. That's why I wanted something in place to protect this <coughs> bill. Okay. Got a motion got a second on the Yes. Yes. Um, next thing you see is garbage discussion. Guys, you know, we've been in this situation for six months now. Um, there's one thing that I don't know that you all can make a decision on. I know that you don't want to cut services. I know you don't want to go mandatory pickup. I know you basically don't want to charge anybody. There have been several options filled out of what to do. Some of you for one thing, some of you for another. But I don't think a decision can be made unless you all authorize me and Mike and Lent and Kenneth to talk to these franchise people that would be interested, and there's probably only two. And other county judges and see what they're doing. I don't think that you all can make a good decision unless you know what kind of deal we would get with the franchise. And what we can put in place if we did go with the franchise, what the county could control. There's a lot of things that come in today who's going to collect the money, whether we're going to collect it or the franchise will collect it. I mean, you know, Tip how can, how can you amount. make a decision? I know you all don't want to cut anything. Occupational tax right now is paying for the garbage to December 31st. Now, if you want the occupational tax to pay for it, there's stuff you can <coughs> cut. There's several areas that you can cut, but you all don't want to make those cuts. And, you know, there's a couple of biggies like health insurance. That's $300,000. <coughs> you guys don't want to cut the health insurance. I know you're bad at that. So, why don't you authorize us to negotiate, and then if we get something close, we bring it back to you guys and say in the next couple of weeks, and we say, here's what it would probably be if we bid it. We still have to bid it. And then we have to make a decision whether we're going to bid it or keep it the way it is. There's no, you, yeah, we'll you just, just want to go negotiate. See try what to provide what information, on, maybe. not Listen. negotiate, just try to find out facts, see what, yeah. what, you know, what we could do. We can't negotiate, we can't because we don't have a contract. Well, I'm what not. I've seen the two options right now without cutting anything is raising occupational tax half a percent. That would sustain us. Uh, raise our property tax to about uh, two five two six. Uh, the problem with you know the problem with that would be we've not collected property taxes for this year yet. That property tax bill is going to go out in December. We're a year away there. So we would have to borrow the money some way <coughs> to sustain to let to then. Then when the money starts coming in, not only do we have to pay for it, we gotta pay for that loan that it's gonna take. 
Okay, Garvin, go. Well, I, I, you know, that's fine with me. Can, can we add, like, let Daryl <coughs> in on that with you? I don't know. Would you be willing it's to go with them? Let, let me just say clear. It's not negotiating because we, we don't okay, have to make a decision. We're trying we to do it like see. a fact-finding session. More or less, more less you let them come here and look at our area because when, right. when waste see, management bid see. on it that's back in 2000, they said that our houses were sparsely located. They made a lot of reasons that we were going to have to pay a higher rate. Well, you know, and and also, you can look at other they counties. They may not happen that way now. Has it in did. place? And it shows what the county can do, how they have to come back and renegotiate a fee increase or anything. There's a lot of things. The county, different counties have different uh, percentages they get back if it's franchised for. You could use that money to help poor people pay their no, There's well, several things. Well, that's one thing. If they go to talk to them, they need to discuss that. That's, 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 that's what I people, think you need to do. We could set different rates for different you know, you know, senior citizens or whatever. whatever. To get this, what we want. Well, I mean, you had to supplement fifty thousand dollars a year to get what you guys want. Yeah, because I, I think the senior citizens and, and the low income should be exempt from this if we in well, any way possible we can do it. Well that's the only way I talked about voting for it back in, in two thousand is because you know we're trying to take care of the people that they could afford it. And actually we also we want to let find out I, I make a motion we let them go over and negotiate and see what they find out about it. It's not negotiating. Well, okay, if that's the most we just go talk to them. Them. Yeah. If you're just going to discuss, you know, with the companies that's there, I don't understand why we couldn't have done that in June or July. It wouldn't go up August. in June. I mean, why are we waiting up until the 12th or 11th hour, whatever you want to say, and now we're saying, okay, let's go out here and find out the facts. Well, we waited that long. Why can't we wait another month? I'm just, I'm just saying. You need to do something. You're out of money. We knew this was coming a year ago. I'll make a motion that you go do that. Got a motion. Second. Here no second. Tell me do what you want to do. Do we need a motion? Yeah, you yeah. go do it. Yeah. I, mean, it's a I mean, I don't think you even need a motion. I mean, you need to do something. We can change this down the road and negotiate. Negotiate, but. Talk to these folks. You all tell me what you want to call them on the phone. Go talk to them. Go talk to them. We don't know what we're getting. It's not buying the pig and the pope. Right. You see what they offer. See what they offer. If we don't like what they offer, we go another way. I'm just, you know, my, my I know one thing. We need to get something done. And I'm trying to come over every meeting. We go on and on and on about it. And nobody wants to do nothing. I want to do something. So go talk to them. My opinion is we should have done this. If that's the fact or the case, it shouldn't. It sh we shouldn't wait up until now. Is there any way to be but to do that? You know, that <coughs> finding mission. Is there is there any way we can talk to that? You could have a working session if they were maybe and have people come over here and not to come to the council. You tell them what you want and the franchise. You could do that. You go to the court, but we need directions. I don't know what to tell you. Tell me what you want to do. We'll come up with a way to do it. But my, I'm just saying, my point is, we should. You know, if that was the case, we should have done that. Early on, not wait here for the last. Well, my memory I ain't made a statement that how do we know what we have got until we talked to them two months ago. Nobody said go talk to them again, so go talk to them now. But anyway, when you go talk to them, can you ask them to see if they'll leave a pit down there so if somebody wants to bring their garbage, they can, or if they want to come pick it up, they can. They still have to pay. Anybody want to listen? Well, they have options. Yeah. Why can't? If we go ahead and raise the B&O tax a half a percent, and the, just the working people will be paying. Why do you want to pay the working people? Well, the people that ain't able to pay it can't. The people that's working can pay a little more. And we still have our job. You're going to have a job. You well, I ain't worried about you, that. You I mean, ain't going I, nowhere. Too much. I mean, the people working a half a percent of what they make ain't going to be over, what, 12, 10, 12 dollars, 15 dollars a month. If that'll take care of it, why not pass that and go ahead? Yeah. I ain't about no tax on the top of the tax. Well, let me tell you something, John. People have got to pay a little bit of something. 
Well, that's what we try to work out going today, right now. People, if it ain't got, got no money, pay. you pay it. It's not going to be paid. Well, I'm just one vote. you got four more votes. They want to okay. vote for the proper tax they can, but I will never, ever vote for a tax. The school board tax, the property tax, the being old tax, any kind of tax. Well, I why? I mean, why people going to pay 10 more dollars a month on their check? Is that going to kill them? Well, no. some, some might, well, might not make two or three dollars an hour. As much as you do, probably. But, uh, well, you, you make more than I do. No, I don't. I seen your check last week. I go. I brought it to you. You had more than I did. <laughs> what did you do? Did you, take a, you must have took a week off. <laughs> no, no, I worked 80 hours. We knew you worked 80 hours. Anyway, we go. It's going to cost. Anyway, you got to see it. You all need to decide. I'd rather pay a little bit of time. Let's decide what we're going to go and go ahead. Whenever you go talk to them, can, can you talk to them about leaving the compact? I have to say, that way they still keep people working. It's working. Yeah, they hurt nobody. Yeah, they'll leave it. They, that's, that'd be cheaper for the franchise to have people come down. What I'm saying, that way the boys who's working can still be able to work too. Then if a high school can have a We'll take care of it. But six months down the road, we can't say we need another high They could be transferred to the county garage. And everybody at work, you know, eight or ten dollars out of their check is not gonna not gonna kill them, not gonna make that much dish. I mean I'm hard eight, eight, eight or ten dollars or twelve or fifteen. Well, I mean, you know, whatever it is. Most of the counties again. I don't mean to sound redundant, but they have a franchise. What that does, you franchise it out. Someone comes in here. The court can control for a number of years how much you're going to give, how long you're going to give that franchise for. They set them out to haul our garbage off. They even pay this county. You can put in that franchise agreement that they will pay a county a fee for that. that I saw one eight percent, but I'm just saying a percent of that. Well, you can use that money like the judge just told you when you franchise it out. What the county gets back to help give poor people a break. Yep, can't afford. I'm just saying that's a way. You hear they ain't going to vote for no tax. I'm just saying, and that way they to bring it up. I think her garbage is five hundred to six hundred thousand dollars a year. Is that if you have a nice town here when the cost of living goes up this much, they're going to raise us this much. I understand. I will tell you the options they had. 6% last year. And they actually picked the garbage up for that. Well, I mean, Paul, when I was master before, you know, they came here and gave us a price on it, and it might be a lot less now. I don't know. But at that time, diesel was like a dollar and a half a gallon, and their price was like 28 26 or $28 a month. That was the best they could do this year. And of course, if you if you all want to go, I, I talked to three different counties. I think <laughs> correct me, Judge, if I'm wrong. McGovern County, sixteen dollars. Johnson County's twelve dollars and seventy five cents. Louisa's is what sixteen or seventeen dollars. And, and they have a sliding fee if you if, if you have a certain income. I think it's just ten dollars. Yeah, electric And then you, you take that uh, tipping fee on top of it. You can help poor people more. You can use that. They've got three times as many people as we got, and half of our people are going to be just different places. Anyway. I, I don't know. I'm just telling you what other counties are doing. Yes, well, what gets me is you bring a franchise in, what's going to happen to us workers that's working at you? That's right. You'll be moved to the county. You'll be moved to the county of God. You're going to the county of God's town. We can do it. Want you to mind? Yeah, yeah, I'm part-time. These full-time workers are going to be taking my job. I'll be out. No, you won't. You'll be, be moved down to county garage, putting in baskets and things like you've been helping out here and there after you've been to do it. You'll just be working down there all the time. That's it. You won't, buddy. You'll, you'll be out of a job. No, they won't be out of a job. <laughs> you know, I don't think you'll out in this court with both of them. You will not be out of a job. That's what I'm scared of because I'm part-time. Well, we got other part timers too. Wrong, thing wrong with a half a percent being old tax. I mean, it. Well, no. I have pay it, same as everybody else. Come on, come on. It's up to you, Ralph. I don't think it would be good. fair to just slap it to the working guy. Well, well it's personal. People well, that don't think the income can't afford it, pay it. I understand that, but I think it's fair if you generate garbage. 
you should pay for getting rid of your no car. Ones. I mean, I think that's fair. Judge, let me ask you a question. If they don't do nothing by December 31st, what will you have to do? Tell them about layoffs, potential layoffs. We ain't worried about a layoff. I'm just, I'm just telling you, you don't, I don't think you realize what's going to happen in December. They're out of money. <laughs> you're, you're out of money in December. When you're checking what would you have to do, Judge? Decent, come down here with the first. At, at, what I have to do, I have to close the transportation, lay everybody off. But the state <coughs> won't allow that because it's a mandate. And they said they would come in here. I talked to them down there. They would charge us five thousand dollars a day fine for every day that we wasn't mandated. <coughs> We were so about half percent then, wasn't it? The first thing is now, I'm not talking about taxes. All right, let's move on. Financials, motion paid bills. Motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Yes. Motion paid government expenses. Motion. All in favor? Yes. Cash transfer list. Motion. Second. All in favor? Really? Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor?